Hello, my name is Mark Boissonneau. I've had a vision for almost 30 years to be the most trusted heating and air conditioning company here in my hometown of Winnipeg. Uh, when we're in customers' homes, uh, we get asked a lot of questions and uh, the question I'll be answering in this video is uh, ECM motors, good or bad? Um, we're going to talk about uh, the good things about them and, and the things that I don't find so good. Um, I've got a couple of samples here with me. Uh, typically an ECM motor is, uh, is made up of uh, an extra component that is attached to which you would, most people would know as a, just a standard motor drive, a PSC motor. Um, these have been around for years and uh, what they've done is they've added in uh, an electronic component that basically creates the power, converts the power into DC. And with the DC power, it, it has a, a better control function. It can modulate, slow the motor down, and you, in, in doing so, also using a whole lot less power. Um, I guess the, uh, the good thing about that, of, about varying the, the, uh, the speed uh, control of the power uh, on, on the drive of the motor, the uh, motor can, uh, can actually give you more comfort. Um, it extends the, the run cycles with it running uh, slower and, and firing in conjunction with the, uh, the gas uh, control. Um, it's like it's uh, basically like my friend Paul said, it's like it's on cruise, cruise control. The, uh, the motor will, uh, will, give, will give less heat, less airflow and create a longer run cycle so you don't get those temperature swings uh, in your house and you, and you become more comfortable. The, the rooms that are you know far away from the furnace that would normally be too hot or too cold it's going to even out the temperature in your rooms and uh, and thus be more comfortable using less power as well um, that is uh, the good part about the ECM motor the uh, the downside is that they uh, they don't last forever uh, when they do break they're very costly uh, the cost of this component right here to us is about five hundred dollars and the, the drive section is almost the same amount it's a little less it's about four hundred so when you compare that to uh, you know a standard PSC motor which our cost would be you know a hundred to two hundred dollars it's uh, it's a big jump and it's a lot uh, if uh, if you don't have warranty that would you know cover that for you um, with that being said we uh, we will include uh, you know an extended warranty on every furnace that we supply uh, to protect the customer for that reason and uh, also the uh, reason that these things are so expensive and and so difficult to, to inventory other than the cost is that they they're like their own computer they're they're programmed to match the rest of the controls in the furnace and being that specific it's not something that uh, you know that the average company can keep in stock. We carry quite a few of these more than most, um, but in the middle of the night, if, if the component isn't available, then, then it becomes you're putting in temporary heaters or p converting to a PSC motor. It, it's just uh, not a good situation. And, you know, like anything, they, you know, things break down. Uh, you know, typically in, in one of these components, there's electronics in here, and as with anything, uh, you know, something, you know, gets overheated if it hasn't been maintaining, it, maintained properly it's running a little bit hot and at some point uh, you know you'll get one of these little things that the smoke will come out and you really can't put it back in that's a little joke um, anyway that's the downside of the ECM motor um, I hope that uh, this uh, information has been helpful for you um, please uh, share and subscribe to my channel uh, if you did have a question about heating or air conditioning just ask it in the comments below. For more information about uh, Tradesman Mechanical, you can visit our website, tradesmandrcool.com. Thank you very much, uh, uh, it, and, and I look forward to the, the next video.